been defused. Counter terrorists win. Hey guys, Mazel here again. Taking a look at uh, Sabrosa one more time. This is uh, review three of three for him. Uh, CLG played Vega at the uh, major qualifier. So I figured I'd grab Sabrosa and uh, finish his three review series up. Um, I haven't watched the whole demo yet. I'm kind of watching it as I edit it. So I'm not entirely sure what to expect. I've seen a few. I've seen first little bit so far. But uh, I don't know what the whole thing is going to look like yet. Uh, the first two demos from Sabrosa actually weren't that insanely bad. Um, I wonder if he has a big discrepancy between his online games and his his land games. I'm not sure. But, uh, I mean, I say they weren't amazingly bad, but there was still some pretty weird shit, especially in uh, the other Mirage one that I did of him. He had some pretty funny looking stuff, so. I'm not sure what the E-League security is like with uh, their anti-cheat and stuff like that, but maybe they figure out Maybe they figured out a way to uh, limit the land cheating. Who knows? Anyways, let's get into this demo and uh, see what Spros is doing. Okay, pistol round. Let's do it. They just do like a fast bum rush right up mid, and uh, Spros has a pretty good pistol round there. Uh, when he was hiding behind the boxer, he kind of lined up the guy in window, but I really don't, really don't think that's anything. Um, he's just. Kept his crosshair where, where it was basically. He has a good round too. Nice. That was weird. Gonna have to slow that down and see what that whole 180 was about. There is one thing I want to talk about first though. What is this fucking smoke from Cutler? So the bomb's in connector and Cutler smokes right in front of it. Like, let's see that again. Their their bomb is down in connector, and Cutler just threw that smoke. With T with CTs controlling the other side of connector. That's like, this is the first round that I watched too. I'm like, that is the worst fucking play I've seen in all of my demo reviews. Anyways, let's slow down that 180 that he did earlier too. Okay, this is pretty weird. And it happens extremely fast, but... Like, what are the chances? I have this slowed down to 25% speed. What are the chances that you do a full 180 like that and land exactly on somebody that fast? Like, that's really. That's pretty weird, I think. He lands, like, his crosser when it starts coming back the other way. He's. What, what, the, what are the chances of that? I don't know. This is really weird, and it's only the first round. So, as soon as I saw that while I was watching the demo, I'm like, fuck. I guess I gotta watch this whole thing at like half speed. Because some of that shit is just so, it happens so fast, it's so hard to catch, you know? Anyways, very weird stuff. You can see it's already 4 4 in the scoreboard. Um, the first few rounds for Sabrosa were really uh, pretty entertaining. Gets a nice little boost here. Oh, by the way, that after that terrible smoke in the first round, Cutler ended up winning that that fucking round, so there's no justice in the world. Um, but yeah, he, he grabs the up, this is an eco round for them, and he hears that guy's footsteps, that's why he's able to take like such an accurate peek. Um, even though if he was aim keying, that really wouldn't help him. Um, like that kind of peek, if someone's wall hacking, they're going to take peeks like that all the time, where they just take a really, really tight angle and just barely peek the guy's shoulder. But uh, when you hear someone running, you could also do stuff like that, so... Nothing wrong with that peak, in my opinion. Okay, I'll speed this up because uh, nothing really happens in the mid part of this round. Uh, they do end up in a like a three v two late round, trying to hold off the site, and he gets another kill. I don't know why he fucking commits to this fight with a deagle with no armor, especially, but he did, and he died, and they almost lost the round because of it. Um, this is probably worth bringing up as well. I don't think these are anything. Like, I don't think his crosshair... I know it kind of seems like he gets stuck on the wall there and then it gets jiggled around uh, when he peeks the guy cat or when he turns to cat. Um, it's... Honestly, that could be a most lift because he's doing a big, big spin. So that's probably nothing. And he also lines up the guy's feet um, when he turns again. That's probably nothing either. I mean, it's definitely not enough to to have a strong opinion about, so... 
It's kind of going to sound like I'm shitting on CLG a lot, but this is an anti-eco. Fucking CTs have, like, nothing. And you're going to see him come flying out apps here. Or palace. And just chase this eco kill like there's no fucking tomorrow. Nobody on his team clears sight, so the guy can't even fucking plant the bomb safely. So the guy dies. If I was IGLing right now, I'd be flipping my shit that he tried to chase that kill jungle. Like, multiple teammates tried to chase the jungle. Uh, this is probably the nicest thing that Sabrosa does all map. But, like, that's a really nice 180, and he lines up exactly for uh, Connector. I thought that was really nice. I'm going to slow that down, actually, because that, that was legit. He's Here's the flash go off. I don't know if he's playing any flash or what the fuck he's doing there, but... Here's the flash go off, and he spins around, and he's right in line with Connector. Doing a full 180. That's that's some good stuff, actually. I just threw this round in. He he gets three kills. There's nothing amazing about the kills or anything. It's all eco kills. Um, this guy does seem to like his eco kills. I gotta say, <laughs> just saying, not saying, or not saying, just saying. Anyways, on to the next clip here. Um, he's left in a one v four. Like they had full post plant control pretty much, and the round just goes to shit. So I wanted to see if anything would come up here since he is kind of left in a clutch situation. Um, I figured I'd just talk about this, that little line up there. I don't think that's anything. I think it's fair enough to say that he's probably just peeking uh, that side of the sight box. So I don't think that's anything. It's just a normal crosshair placement. Reasonable. Last round. T-side for Sabrosa. And CLG's in the lead, 8-6. Um, there was a few things I wanted to point out in this round. I'll go through them at the end there. Just some stuff I found weird, but uh, first half for Sabrosa, there was maybe a few things going on. Some stuff that you do not see very often, um, like in Pisser on there, that massive 180 that just lands right on a guy. It's weird. You don't see, see shit like that very often. Um, he's going to peek the murder hole here and end up dying, but I figured some people might argue that he's using an aim key to drag it, but I really don't. I really don't think so. This is the first spot that bugged me. It's like, I know he's not wall hacking, so he can't see that that guy's about to come out of the corner, or out from the corner. But, like, what are the chances he puts his crosshair right at that edge, right before the guy peeks? You know? It's, uh, I've seen this a few times, and maybe it's just confirmation bias, that every time I see it, I notice it, kind of thing. Um, but it's really weird. Like I said, that's something you'd think like a wall hacker would do because they they know the guy's going to come out. And obviously he's not wall hacking. But um, it's still weird that his crosshair goes right to that corner a split second before the guy comes out. I don't know. I thought it was uh, noteworthy enough to bring up. And the next clip I wanted to talk about was this one. And he could be aim keying with an offset there or he could just be jumping on the bench. And he wants to look at the bench before he jumps up. So I don't think... There's enough to really make an argument. You could also say, does a pro really need to look at the bench before he jumps on it? Like, doesn't he know it's fucking there? So, maybe that's something. I don't know. It is, it is weird for him to look right into a fucking wall for a little bit, but it could be nothing. Okay, pistol round. Let's do it. Um, you know, I like my pistol rounds. I pretty much put them all in, and I like to put a big chunk of them in, too. You know, I, d I don't want to just show the kills. I want to show them moving around the map, just in case you guys spot anything. Um, not too much going on with Sabrosa. You're going to see when he falls back, he has some sort of seizure or something. I really don't know what the fuck happens with his mouse here. You're going to... Here, watch. I don't know. I think he was trying to turn around and then he saw the guy, maybe? Like, it, it's not cheating. It goes nowhere near a guy, but, like... What the fuck you doing? I, this is very weird stuff. Add it to the list of Sabrosa shit, right? First gun round of the second half for Sabrosa. And he seems to work pretty well around smokes. Uh, I'm pretty sure he saw that guy, no problem. But uh, he does a good job spraying and stuff. He seems to be pretty accurate. I, I'm not saying he's cheating or anything. He's just, he sprays smokes are, uh, well, I think. And I actually mean that as like a compliment. I'm not giving him shit. Like, he seems to know a one way here, I think. Like, the other guy has no idea that he's there, it seems. And uh, he gets a free kill out of it, so it's pretty nice. I'll just speed this up here. It's the uh, like the middle of the round. There's nothing really that happens, so I'll just zip right through it. I could cut it, but I mean, I don't know. I 
figured I'd just leave it in there if you could see the whole round, sort of, not really. <laughs> um, they end up trying to do a retake on A here in a 3v2 and it's not working out for Sabrosa in that one. Uh, another good round of him working in smokes, like he hides in this smoke and shows how overpowered the CZ is, just fucking shreds that guy, and he gets a spray kill. And I thought that was a pretty legit looking spray, I didn't I didn't think it looked funny or anything, so. This round came up on uh, Vax Sucks, and if it, if it was anyone else's name, I don't think it would've. It does, it, kind of, it does look weird, and I could see the argument of uh, the guy that posting it. He thought maybe Saborosa was tapping an aim key as he as he went around that corner, and it does make sense. Like it's fourteen fourteen, if you, and if he has an aim key, he's gonna try and win, right? But I don't know. Um, even if he is, it's really hard to prove that. Like that's not that's not the slam dunk argument that we're looking for. I don't think um, we could probably speculate on stuff like that. Like, if I speculated on stuff like that all the time, my videos would be two hours long. Um, but there's just not enough to really justify thinking that that's an aim key. Yeah, it does kind of look like he's tapping an aim key, but really a lot of people when they round a corner kind of look like they're tapping an aim key because that's sometimes how the corner gets rounded. Um, don't get me wrong, it's 100 pro. 100% possible that he's cheating there. It's just really hard um, to really test something like that or prove something like that. So it's the last round for Sabrosa. We made it to the end, and they have a dog shit by here. And you can see he gets pretty ultra fucked by that Molly and has to charge in like a battle to hell. I don't know if that was the best course of action there, but that's what he did. So um, he had a pretty decent game, uh, all things considered. Not too, too bad by him. Um, this wraps up the three demos that I wanted to do for Sabrosa. And I'll do like a like a demo review kind of recap, just like I did for Mixwell. And post that when I get around to it as well. And this demo, not, not Sabrosa's worst, that's for sure. Um, I think everything in it could be explainable. But there is some weird stuff. And he's kind of had weird stuff in every demo of his, um, like pretty weird stuff. So I don't know. It's it really is a contrast to the players that I watch that don't have any weird stuff, right? Or go multiple demos without having weird stuff, you know? So for a player to kind of have weird things going on in every demo, uh, maybe that you know, there's a decent chance something's up, right? So. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll see you next time. Bye.